This is a story about a charity called Develop. We aim to provide support to build a strong, diverse and vibrant voluntary and community sector. We are GROW! GROW offers support and information to voluntary organisations and community groups across Wiltshire. We are Volunteers Centre Wiltshire! Volunteer Centre Wiltshire offers help and information to individuals and organisations across Wiltshire. We are ECBL. Equal Chance Better Life acts as a single source of equality information and support for the voluntary and community sector in Wiltshire. Together we are developed. Develop is a family of services. Together we are building the capacity of voluntary organisations and community groups to enable them to effectively meet local needs. We are very conscious we have to get all our policies and procedures nailed down very well, particularly um, things like safeguarding young people. And we managed to get together a set of policies and we did a lot of research on the internet and got together stuff that we are fairly confident with. But we needed some external expert eyes to actually go and look over it and say yes this is right or this is potentially a problem because obviously you can't take any chance with these sort of things. So we approached Pro uh, for advice, not actually expecting directly to get help, just advice about where to go and Pro kindly said actually we will look at them and, and go through them and tell, them, tell you what we think. So Generally speaking, I think these, uh, these functions are fantastic because the, these wonderful people who run voluntary groups in this sector it can seem sometimes like a solitary group rather than a voluntary group. So I think people get a lot of energy, empowerment and go away with more tools than perhaps they came with just a couple of hours ago uh, to help them de deliver the services to the to people who really need it. My name's Amy Cahillan, I'm the Wellbeing Project and I work at the Wiltshire Wildlife Trust on a project called the Wiltshire Wellbeing. So it's all about taking people out that suffer from mental illness and doing a range of conservation and art and nature session and green wood and crafts. Um, I decided to come to this event today because I think the, one of the biggest reasons is it brings everybody together from a range of organisations, so it's a great networking opportunity and it also allows us to share good practice if you like and identify areas of improvement and it also keeps me up to date with the latest legislation, the latest knowledge and good practice. My name is Terry Sell. To help people get fit and stay fit and also have good dietary advice, informal advice. I needed the support to grow as, a, as an organisation and that is why I saw grow and decided to come to see them. Yeah, you helped me out to set up a constitution, a publicity, helping to form and, and help me write the uh, leaflets and posters that I needed to push the organisation around hospitals, doctor surgeries, libraries and other public places. I'm Mary Rose Mantle, I'm Chairman of Trowbridge Carnival, but I also serve on other committees and assist other groups. I always find that I gain information from these networking sessions and I have gained several points today as well as met up with a few old friends and made new ones. My name's Carol Pell and I belong to a group called the One Love Community Group. We want to get sort of like older people and young people interacting together and you know, just, um, you know, 
make things happen more. What difference do you think this will make to your organisation and to um, you? Knowing where to go, knowing who to approach, and if they don't know, they will help you. I can bring my colleagues together because there's a number of different volunteer projects that we work on so I can sort of filter up to date information back to them and we can then check what we're actually delivering is good practice so um, and that we're treating our volunteers in, in a, an appropriate way if you like to make sure that they're getting a valued experience. What do you think would have happened had you had not had any of this support? I just feel that we wouldn't have got where we are. We, well, I mean, it's come a long way uh, and uh, we're going to go a lot further. Uh, I think it would be a tremendous shame if you didn't have these things. And of course, Wiltshire being Wiltshire, geographically, it's a challenge to get them all on, to get people yeah. to various places. Uh, but having them in Salisbury, having another one in Melchior in a few weeks' time, I believe, uh, I think it's vital, yeah. absolutely vital. What happens is a lot of organisations operate in isolation you know, we become very stuck within our own thinking, you know, related to our, obviously our mission statements, but it may not be the right practice. And it's so good to be able to hear from other organisations about how they implement things, how they deal with problems, uh, and how they get the most out of their volunteers and the work that they do, so. Probably without um, gross help, I don't, we don't really know what we would have done to make sure that we could have gone and asked other people, but it's, it's different just asking people who may have some experience in it rather than people that actually deal with this sort of thing all the time.